the views and opinions expressed on this stream do not necessarily reflect the views of Hybrid Hype Gaming LLC or its affiliates. Well, I got a call sign on that. You know what's funny? Every time I took Spanish, my Spanish teachers were never Hispanic. <laughs> and that's probably why I can't speak no fucking Spanish. I think what little Spanish I do know, I learned, like, you know, working in, my, in Miami. Like, cleaning, like, air ducts and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, Olympia, Alductos and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, damn, that's fucked up, though. But, I mean, I can't really... Actually, let me let me go back just a little bit, just so I can get this get this list on get this whole list up. All right. First off, I live in Florida, so when it comes to gardeners cleaning, cleaning, and cleaning, all right, I see that in all colors. All right. In fact, I've seen more Haitians doing gardening and cleaning than I see Mexicans and shit. You know what I mean, but then again, I'm Haitian, and Haitians, I personally feel are the hardest working motherfuckers on the planet. All right? But that's another discussion for another day. So let's go. Hey, I don't drink alcohol. This is tequila. I hate when people say tortilla. Bitch, it's tortilla. I that line right there. That line right there. Like, I remember I was watching the uh, Napoleon Dynamite and they like, just make a case of Dilla. I'm just... Like, I'm black and that shit hit me hard. That hit me the wrong way. Like, I don't need an SUV or an umbrella. Why? I got a donkey and some bread. Damn. See, that's fucked up to say. But let's keep it a buck. My Latinas out right? here? I live in Florida, bro. These Latinas out here? Mwah. Mm -hmm. Listen, I think I'm probably more likely to hook up with a Spanish chick than anybody else. And I ain't trying to shit on my black woman when I say that. But I do live in Florida, and I'm surrounded by all these sexy, beautiful, Spanish-speaking women. I need to go get some fucking, like, Duolingo or fucking Rosetta Stone or some shit, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yo. First off, I will never, ever, ever knock a nigga in a mariachi band. Let me tell y'all some story. All right. It was like 2008, 2009. And I'm telling out this Mexican restaurant called Tijuana Taxi. Now, around the time, see, uh, they used to do an open mic night there. And then me and my boys used to show up and fucking, you know, and, you know, just like, <clears throat> we even like sitting there singing bullshit songs that we made up. You know what I'm saying? My boy on guitar. Or me, one I'll be either singing or on bass or something. Y'all yeah, know a little bit of bass. That's a little bit. I mean, we was like, all right, do this. This is, this is, this is how I learned how to play bass. All right, uh, so the song we're doing, you're going to get, you're going to hit the tabs, you're going to tip to here. It's like here, 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 and then back up here. All right, bet. And just remember that, and that's it. All right? But one of the, uh, one of the cooks, which is funny because that goes back to the whole making tacos thing. But I mean, all right. One of the cooks there on the side is a mariachi. So he uh, he asked my homeboy, yo, can I use your guitar right quick? And I'm like, all right, bet. Gives him the guitar, right? And everybody shuts up, goes, because he just starts playing. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no, he wasn't even using the pick. He was doing it barehanded. Bruh, when I say, you can feel the energy in the room as if you can magically sense every pussy in the fucking building getting wet. All right? Don't ever knock the Mariachi niggas. 
They will take your girl, bro. They will take your girl. That nigga, you see that nigga living your, you see that nigga living a crib, living your crib, with a guitar slung over his shoulder. It's too late. You done lost her, bro. If you done lost her. <laughs> what the fuck, go? I can't talk. Because Wallace says six black people in the, in the van. And it says 20 Mexicans in that same van. You probably get like 40 Haitians up in there. Just saying. Just saying. See what he did there? That's fucked up. So I panicked, swam across the border at the speed of the standing go, me, oh, 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 just Mexican people, oh, 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 we're brown people. I am a Mexican, yes, I speak Spanish, but only when you're around so you can understand. This motherfucker said the game is Uno. Sport cross country and that last one their favorite bookstore is borders damn this nigga was, this nigga was swinging for the fences bro I like nachos dipped in Mexican salsa the hero Taco Bell until they shot my chihuahua hey if you're Latino or Latina then you're Mexican if you're from Spain or Argentina you're still Mexican if you speak any Portuguese you're still Mexican and if your name is Louise, you're definitely next. Like you dance with two Morocco in my hand, hand, hand. Used to play in the mariachi band, band, band. Ah, ah, see, she agrees. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> this part down here, <laughs> this part down here, yes. Like, like I said, I live in Florida. I can vouch for that, all right? In fact, this is one Cuban chick I've been waiting to hit up. But, I mean, wax truck out on that one. Anyways, let's just let's keep it going. Oh, here we go, here it goes. D, that's fucking me. That was fucking me, bro. That they gotta go ahead and call white people for getting sunburned and shit. All right, and trust me, they know sunburn is no joke. Sunburn is no joke. All right. In fact, I remember one time I was at this like get. We had, I was at this big ass get together. All right, a bunch of musicians just started just, 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 just went in this big ass mansion all the way out, all the way out in like Naples. You know what I'm saying? And we were sitting there, everyone playing music and, you know what I'm saying, partying it up for the whole weekend. After it was all over, everybody left. But, you know, the person throwing this shit, that was my friend's mom. So I told my, 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 my homie and his moms. And they're like, hey, let's go to the beach. I'm like, all right, bet. Let's hit the beach. We go to the beach. Of course, you know, white people got their, you know, their regimen. They got to put on the sunscreen and shit, right? It looks kind of ashy there, but I'm going to have to hit the lotion after this. And not in the way I talked about before. Anyways. So I'm ready to go in the water. She's over here like, you ain't gonna put on no sunscreen? And I'm like, uh, I'm black. I don't really need it. 
And then the then southerner came around there and she's like, boy, we don't put this motherfucker on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because got to get it all over me. <laughs> all right? All right? But damn. And then they go, black people, job. Damn, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> and then the Mexicans, they put the fence, like, <laughs> I'm sucked up. Hey, like Kobe, yeah. If I ever call bullshit on that, because who building the fence? Hmm? I build my house with the... Hey, Joe Rogan, don't come after me for that. <laughs> right? Kobe, I'm That's fucked up. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my dog, Kingpin. King Mexican. That's like my best friend. That's been my best friend since seventh grade. Love you, dude. Just say. Oh, oh, oh. Here all the way from 